Premier League champions Manchester City host Bundesliga title holders Borussia Dortmund at the Etihad in the first of two mouth-watering encounters. Dortmund won their opening clash with Ajax 1-0 in Germany. City, though, suffered the heartbreak of surrendering a 2-1 lead with five minutes to go to lose 3-2 at Real Madrid. It's difficult to, to win a Champions League and every, every game is difficult. In, this is the second year for us to play in Champions League and the second year that we took the Vros group in the Champions League. And, uh, but we know that uh, we are a good team. Uh, like United, like Arsenal. In the group's other game, Ajax welcomed Real Madrid to the Amsterdam Arena. Worryingly for Ajax, Jose Mourinho has an almost fully fit squad to choose from ahead of the game and may well pick his strongest side. The only saving grace for Frank de Boer is that Madrid may have one eye on their El Clasico meeting with Barcelona in La Liga on Saturday. I came here because I, I understood that that Ajax changed uh, a few players from, from the last season, but they kept the same, the same philosophy as, as, as always. But in my opinion, they are a team better prepared to play Champions League. And uh, I think they will give us a completely different match than they gave us in previous seasons. There's drama over in Group C, where Russia's Zenit St. Petersburg prepare to take on Serie A side Milan. Reports suggest that the Russians are in turmoil following the high-profile arrivals of Hulk from Porto and Axel Witzel from Benfica. It's alleged that lesser-paid players have refused to play after hearing of their new teammates' massive wages. Forward Alexander Kurzakov was only on the bench at the weekend for Zenit, despite scoring seven goals in the league while captain Igor Denisov didn't feature at all. Good news for their Italian counterparts Milan then, who will hope to capitalise and claim their first win of the campaign, having been held by Anderlecht on match day one. The group's other game sees Malaga, 3-0 winners over Zenit on the first day, take on Belgium's Anderlecht. To group B next, where Arsenal will hope to bounce back from a league defeat by Chelsea, with victory at home to Greek side Olympiakos. Arsenal lost at home in what was their first defeat in the Premier League this season, and they're keen to put that right. The players are, of course, uh, focused uh, and disappointed when, uh, when we lost the game. And uh, we are still, uh, of course, down, but uh, we have a Champions League game in front of us, and uh, we play at home, and we want to to put things right, because there was a lot of positives in that game as well. Arsenal and Schalke were 2-1 away winners on match day one. They look set to head the group towards the latter stages. Schalke welcomed Montpellier to Germany, with the French champions looking to bag their first Champions League points. And completing our way back through the alphabet, we finish with a look at the fixtures in Group A. Paris Saint-Germain made a statement on their return to the Champions League, putting four past Dinamo Kiev in the French capital. They have Ezekiel Lavezzi back from injury, but face a much sterner test in Portuguese champions Porto, who ran out 2-0 winners away at Dinamo Zagreb. I think for us, playing here away from home, it's a good test. A very good test to see where we are now with our confidence and style of play in this difficult stadium. In the group's other match, the two Eastern European sides go head-to-head -head as Croatian Zagreb travel north to Kiev in Ukraine. 